If God's word doesn't change your life instantly. God's word has the power to change your mindset instantly and give you the truth instantly upon reading it. But a change in lifestyle requires action and a lot of time and effort. Did you know that many of God's most faithful servants initially were not fully receptive to his word? An example that is often overlooked is Moses. In today's episode of Motivating Monday, I'm going to explain more about this character and how we can learn from Moses' journey and extraordinary faith. Numbers 12 verse 3 reads, now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Meekness means, means to be quiet, gentle, and in the context of the Bible, submissive to God. It is one of the fruits of the Spirit, and God says there is no law against it in Galatians 5, 22-23. But, um, but this was not always the case, as in, uh, Moses was not always the meekest man on earth. See, no one is born meek or holy. Moses wasn't, um, as, as a newborn, he was not the meekest man on earth. It, it was something that he became. And it is built up through life and experiencing the power of God's word. So let, let's look at the life that Moses lived. So he lived in a time when the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt. The Pharaoh feared the growing population of the Israelites, and so he ordered that all newborn Hebrew boys um, are killed. And um, so, but his mother placed him in the basket and set it afloat on the Nile River. So Moses survived, and he was adopted by Pharaoh's daughter eventually. He grew up with royal privileges and. Um, he would have had his entire worldview built around that Hebrews were slaves and Egyptians were the masters. Everyone acknowledged this. Um, but he slowly began to empathize with the Hebrews, um, knowing that he himself had Hebrew roots. It was like an entire system that he had grown up with. Changing it would be very difficult. It would be like um, trying to introduce Bible knowledge as a compulsory subject in Singapore uh, for exams. And I guess that at this time, Moses never expected that Israel would be able to uh, escape slavery and um, I don't think many people would have at that time. And it might have even seemed impossible. But after more than 40 years of his life, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush that was miracul uh, miraculously not consumed by the fire. And God revealed his plan to deliver the Israelites from, uh, from slavery. And he asked Moses to lead. Um, but Moses was very hesitant and he declined four times, uh, giving different excuses for each time. So in the end, Moses, uh, God had to appoint uh, Aaron as his spokesperson instead, Aaron his brother. And so this might not strike you as particularly submissive to God, um, but then in the end, we see that he was able to lead Israel out of slavery and they escaped Egypt. So sometimes our lives might feel like a, a bit like Moses at the burning bush, maybe especially more for those that didn't grow up in Christian families or even for those that did. Um, we still grow up spending most of our time in school, in secular environments, and definitely much more time-wise than in church. And so the world will have a heavy influence on who we are. That is inescapable. And uh, when we are first exposed to the truth of God's word, we might react like Moses did um, initially and hesitate to put our full trust and faith in God. But faith takes time to build up. And we can't expect to instantly remove the hold that the world has on us when we first read something in the Bible. After all, some things we've lived with our entire lives um, in the, and we just observe in the world and it's hard, to, um, it's hard to change the mindset. And also, there might be certain lifestyles or habits that we are used to and find it very difficult to change. But we don't have to be discouraged. Um, John 8.32 encourages us, saying that we will know the truth and the truth will make us free. And if we keep studying the Bible to remind ourselves of who we are and our purpose on this earth, Eventually, we will be free, and we can be like Moses, who was initially too scared to speak for God, but he ended up leading his ent an entire nation out of slavery. Um, and so, yeah, it, it shows you that faith has to be built. And if you feel like it's really tough, or you keep slipping back into sin, or, or certain habits that you want to change, don't be discouraged. If you are trying to change, um, God can see your heart. Go to God in prayer, and He will help you overcome any temptation that... Uh, you come across. You know, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 is one of my favorite verses and it reads, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. So yeah, it's a very encouraging verse. It shows us that there's always a way. And maybe now you're Moses in front of the burning bush. And God has called you to make a change in your life and trust in him. Um, and it's a long life ahead, but you'll make it. You can do it. Just stay consistent. Don't think so much about the future. 
you can't calculate it out like in chess. Um, that will just be a waste of resources. And the Bible tells us not to worry for this reason. Um, we can trust God. We don't have to worry. Um, if we rely on God and the church for support, uh, everything will work out uh, for good in the end. Let's get to heaven together. Thank you. Oh,